are ready with me while I talk about the ridiculous things that this girl that claimed to be a girl's girl has done to me. For context, I've never ever in my life had to cut out a person cold turkey and I've never had to go through a friendship breakup because genuinely I feel like I only open up to the people that deserve my time and I end up loving them for a lifetime, hopefully. But this girl was just an exception. I am going to try my best to talk through all of this without freaking raging. The first one is not that bad, I guess, compared to the other things that she's done. But the day that she met my boyfriend, or like a couple days into it, she added him to her close friend story and just started posting the random TMIs on her stories, like a attention trap. Not even a thirst trap, it's like attention trap. And this was before my boyfriend and I started dating, but like everyone knew that we were into each other. This one kind of goes with the first one. She borrowed my boyfriend's hoodie when we were all over at his house because she was cold. And then she took the hoodie home, which is fine, girl. Like, be warm, stay warm, don't get cold. But she continues to wear that hoodie for the next two weeks and posts all about it on social media. A picture of her in his hoodie, which is... Okay, guys, I'm telling you right now, I got something for you. So this girl's name is Kelly Kim. She's like a model. She does a lot of like skincare. And she made a post about why she's cutting off her friend. Well, I can't say friend, so maybe an associate. Because supposedly she's been doing things to get her man's attention. Look, guys, 127,000 likes. 1.2 million views. And guys, I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now. Get your tea and get your snacks, okay? Because this is about to be good <laughs> if you want to watch it yourself you can go over here the rest of us you're with me let's go now as she said she said the girl added her man to the close friend thing if you guys don't know what that is on instagram you can post stories and then you can also make stories for only your close friends and it'll turn green like this so if you see it green like this that means they put you on their close friend list so the girl added her man to that list but they weren't together yet so at this point i can't really see why you expected so much loyalty and if this is around the same time frame, I don't really see the her posting herself in the hoodie online as that much of a betrayal. But it does sound like she's trying to get your man's attention for sure. And if he was your man at this time, that's kind of fucking sketch, bro. Especially if you claim to be a girl's girl. A picture of her in his hoodie. Which is, again, I can let it pass, whatever. Starts to randomly show her love for the brand that my boyfriend likes. Never heard this girl brag about how much she likes this brand before. Never. Until she met my boyfriend. Spending hours getting ready to see him. Calling up my other friend and telling her that she thinks he's cute and that she could see herself getting along with him while we were already dating. Ooh. Getting him the sandwich that he mentioned he likes and then volunteering to wake up early so that she can hand the sandwich to him so that he can take it to work. Whoa. I'm kind of surprised right now because now that I'm talking about this, months after it actually happened, I find this hilarious. I'm not even raging anymore. I just think it's kind of funny how hard this girl is trying. Honestly, I don't blame you, girl. My boyfriend is cute. Just hope you can find a new man to buy sandwiches for every morning. Goodbye, and I wish you the best. <laughs> so she offered to make your man a sandwich and bring it to him early in the morning? Yeah, she got some high interest in him, or like, I get, or she just want to be friends, I guess. I am surprised that when she told that girl how she feels about your man, how she didn't think that she was going to report back to you. It's kind of confusing. What is everyone's relationship to each other? Was she your friend, associate? Like, what is it? And if she was your friend, did we not confront her? You didn't go and say like, hey, like, I don't like that you're wearing my man's hoodie. I mean, if it's your friend, I mean, I, I would think that she wouldn't mind not doing that. I'm just surprised that there isn't like a, I approached her and we talked about it and here's what she said. You just ghosted? <laughs> crazy idea here talk to her 6700 likes <laughs> we're like yeah it's like why don't you just, like say something it doesn't sound like they were really best friends right that's what i'm thinking it's confusing communication could be more involved right just talk dead gang a lot of the times when y'all lose connections it's typically miscommunication what you call friendship and loyalty is different than what everyone else calls friendship and loyalty we all level it differently so if you're in your head saying well they should have known you're in your ego they can't read your mind. Speak. Not everybody is like you. <laughs> the hoodie thing alone would have made me spiral. 18,000 likes. 
Bro, that's just kind of valid posting his hoodie every day on Close Friends. Ah, I would be, oh, it's a little sus. Not worth ending a friendship over, though. You could have at least talked. Uh, true, they should have talked. But after that friend came back and said, yo, she has interest in your man and it was talking about your man saying he's cute while they were already dating. <laughs> that's disloyal as fuck. I ain't gonna hold you. I saw her vid. Y'all needed to just talk. Her size seemed not that bad, to be honest. What? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, my God, guys, I found it. She made a response video. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce Joanna. Let me just clear up some misconceptions that people are having online about me. So I don't know if you saw the video yet. We but did. There is a video about a girl talking about why she ghosted a friend and the reasons behind that. And I am that friend that's been ghosted. And it's just so baffling to me that I had to find out this way when I have reached out so many times, desperately asking you what was wrong. The points that were made in this video, three points that I remember, close friends, let's start with that. She's saying that I was trying to get at her boyfriend, whatever, because I added her, him on my close friends. First of all, close friends don't mean a lot to me. And it was not only him that I added, it was everyone that I met that night. We met at a club together on my birthday and she whispered to me thinking that there was a guy over there that she thought was cute. As her best friend, I'm gonna play Cupid. I went to him and I was like, hey, my friend thinks you're cute. You guys should chat it up. They chatted it up. Ended up going well, so we went back to his apartment with him and his friends and me and my friends. So we all kind of became like just comfortable with each other. And obviously if I'm comfortable with you, I'm just gonna add you to my close friends. It's really not a big deal. The attention- Oh, okay. So all of your friends would they go hang out with a bunch of guys at their house. And before you left, you added all of them. Hmm, I get it. I can get adding a bunch of new people on social media, but I've never just added a bunch of strangers to my close friend list. If you truly just add everyone to your close friend list, why don't you just leave it normal is what I'm thinking. I do wonder if she really added all of them to the close friend list. I don't know. I could never know. She might, you know what I'm saying? She live a different life than me. I don't know. Really not a big deal. The attention traps, I don't know what she was referring to because if it was attention traps, like why would she also be on the close friends? If I just wanted that to be an attention trap, I would only add guys I'm trying to get at. I don't, I don't know, but I mm. post thirst trap on my public story so that everyone can see that um, the hoodie i'm just notorious for not giving back hoodies and i am sorry i just took longer to give this one back because it was really cute it's not because it's it was his hoodie and like i wanted to keep it longer and like i just wanted to feel cozy up in his hoodie it was literally because it was cute mm, my guess what she means by the attention traps is how you were like posting in his hoodie multiple times throughout those two weeks on your um stories in like a way to get him to focus on you or even possibly respond to you and talk to you. But still, you could have also just been posting it because you liked it. That is possible, bro. The sandwich is like the most iconic part of this story. Um, you and I both know, babes, that, that sandwich was an expression of my gratitude for mounting my TV. Oh, and at this time, like, we were living together, too, me and this girl. We were living together. We were roommates. Um, so they were together. We were Us three were together in my room mounting the TV and, like, making jokes and making fun. And then, like, I, I really wanted my TV mounted, and he did it. So I was like, oh, my God, like, I'm so thankful. Let me show my gratitude in some way other than just being like, thank you. So I picked up a sandwich um, after work at a bakery that's right next to my work, and I put it in the fridge, and I was like, okay, perfect. We have a sandwich secured for you. Come pick it up before work tomorrow so you can eat it before it spoils, because why the fuck would I get you a sandwich and have it spoil, you know? She came with him to pick it up. I handed her the sandwich. If I really cared about, like, me getting him the sandwich because it was, like, for him, I would have wanted to hand it to him. But I didn't care. It was just a form of expression. I would have done this for anyone else. It doesn't matter that it was him. Left the... Okay, no cap. That is a valid response. He mounted your TV for free? She kind of made it seem like you bought the sandwich for no reason. She was like, you got him his favorite sandwich and, and, and was going to wake up early in the morning to bring it to him. Like, I get why she think it could be a little suspect, but I'm sure the only reason why your man helped her out was because that was your friend. That means you also woke up early when he had to go to work and you drove with him to pick up the sandwich because you were a little insecure about the situation. I wonder if this is before or after that friend reported to you about what Joanna was saying. I wonder if Joanna's going to explain that.
but it was him left the friendship with the other girl together and villainized me and now one year later you come on tiktok to talk about it is so low and why am i blocked i literally saw the video i commented and i said let's not leave out details why'd you delete the comment i'm i'm sick of staying quiet i'm sick of having to hear from other people i heard this about you from her i respected that you had your own perspective on things but now that i know this is the reason i'm so glad that you're not in my life anymore girl rule number one your girl's boyfriend is not your friend you keep the barrier strong always involve the girlfriend in every act <laughs> Nineteen thousand likes i kind of get this but because of how they met and like she added him before they got together if she ended up becoming friends with the guy too you're saying after they got together she should have like cut him off or distanced herself from him I just don't think that you can blame Joanna that hard for that one. A thank you would have been 100% okay. I think this statement is coming from an insecure position instead of like a, a considerate position. Getting TV Walmart services can cost from 75 to 200. So like low key, the least she could do is give him a sandwich or fuck a gift card. The hoodie part is crazy. Like no matter how cute the hoodie was, no. I definitely think it was possible that she was trying to get his attention. But if I heard the story right, she got that hoodie on the first day that they met those guys. So it's like not that crazy. But if they were together and then she was still posting those stories, that's kind of fucking crazy. It's crazier. Respectfully, I don't have any of my friends, boyfriends, or husbands even added to my socials. I guess, but I have some of my guys' girlfriends added. But typically, I'm not going to initiate adding them. Ask my homeboy, and if he says it's cool, then sure, I might follow you. Okay, guys, the story ends there, bro. I really want to know what y'all think, bro. So I'm in the comments. As I always say, what do you think about this? Guys, we are becoming a problem. 1.5 mil and Facebook kept banning us. So we made a YouTube. We kept putting in the work and now we're getting a play button, y'all. We about to get a play button. Now, as I told you guys, I'm really a music artist. I love making music, but I make all these videos because you like them. So can you please follow the page for me? Now outside of all this, remember dead gang, it was just you and you had a plan. You have come too far to end it right here. Did you forget all that work you just put in? I know you're discouraged, but you are close. We get one life and on dead in them, we ain't going out like no weak motherfucker. If they want us out the game, they gonna have to take it from us. So when this video goes off, don't forget to pop your shit star. I would have done anything, all you had to do was ask And all of the damage is done, I can't imagine ever taking you back Is it that hard to keep it a stack, cause all of your promises looking like cap Cause when I was calling your phone, I already knew where you at <laughs> I tried to give you a chance, while you doing me dirty I thought you'd be the last one to hurt me Till you put a knife in my back, you cannot say I didn't love you to death Baby, I knew you was bad for my health, but I thought I was covered by reinsurance That you would give me, it kills me to know that I would give a kidney if you got sick to find out what you really had wanted on all this time you were hitting a lick Don't try to tell me I'm misunderstanding You know I don't know, I like to be gaslit This ain't the first time you ever did fraud It's just the first time that you got caught Man